Now, staying on the topic of kids, getting rid of the pacifier, that can be a tough one. Some children have a really hard time parting with their binky, but they are maybe a nice, gentle way to do it. Eight on Your Side has some answers and suggestions today. Joining me now is Ellie Hirsch, the mommy master. and. Letting go of that binky, not easy for everybody. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not a fun task, but you can make it fun because it can be traumatic, not only for the child, but for the parent as well. There's a lot of changes that are, are going on. What's the ideal age to do it? You know, it's a good question, but there really is no exact answer. Same with a potty training or moving your child into a big boy or big girl bed you know when your child's ready. And you don't want to wait too long because obviously it affects maybe their speech or um, having some dental issues. But you know, you have to be ready as a parent also. When your kid's ready and you're ready, you do it. You don't do it. wait. Yes. <laughs> don't wait too long. Don't probably. wait too long. Yeah. You brought this great video of your firstborn, yeah. your son, when you yeah. took his binky away. Let's take a peek at that oh, and then you can tell me more oh, about it. Oh, man. Oh, it's binky balloons. Look at that. He called it his meet me. And it was just so much fun. So the, the binky was tied to the balloons, and how did you sell that exactly? Well, we, it's really about the journey, and so if you start the journey ahead of time and you involve your child, for example, I took him to the store and he picked out his favorite balloons. We made up the Meet Me Fairy. So we, he, you can see he actually has his binky tied to the, this note, and it says, Dear Meet Me Fairy, please send this to another child. And he actually says, I love you, Meet Me, bye-bye. Oh. And you know, if you really make it exciting and fun for the whole family, they really don't focus on what's to come, which there is no binky at night. So, so he didn't come back to you later going, no, no actually, <laughs> no, nope. And there's some rewards that you can do as well. Okay. So maybe you take them to the toy store or the dollar store, or you get them a new book or take them out to ice cream. I like to leave little gifts, you know, for a week every morning when they wake up, just to, you know, as a little incentive, because the nights can be tough, nap mm. times can be tough, or maybe they are gone all together. Right. So, you know, you're, you're taking something that's really difficult and making something fun out of it. I love the video. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Thank you Thanks. for sharing that. Sure. All right. Sure.